Hi! In this video, we'll be reviewed extension for Husky plugin Filter Front Builder. So, firstly, let's activate Husky plugin. Activate. Second, let's go to the widgets. Appearance widgets. Let's add text widget. Let's type there short code woof front wielder name attribute is required hello for example save let's go to the side front and let's update it here it is filter is ready for filtering let's try to filter by price okay it works reset can you see this button this button is for you as administrator to assemble filter you want and it is and this is related on for, for the filter with the name hello so we can create a lot of different filters just changing the name for example hello one hello two and so on so let's click on this button here it is pop up with filter section which you can see text in stock on sale and price what we can do now we can change its order so let's price will be first what we can do more we can delete let's delete okay but how to add look at this drop down just click on it and add any filter sections you want what we can do more for example if you can see product categories is drop down let's show it as checkbox okay just now it's checkbox also let's change its order so what about this button if you can see sd what does it mean smart designer so for example if you want to improve your checkboxes in the product categories let's move it on the top just click on this button smart designer item will be created and attach it to this filter section okay so just now as you can see it's changed to this feature but if you want to stay with the checkboxes no problem let's select checkbox here it's redrawn okay just now we can see it's uh, another one so how we can improve it for example we can change it width and height okay and there is a lot of more options and video about smart design separated from this video but shortly we can improve filter elements just directly from the filter front wielder let's let it back as it was let's select any images select hover uh, hover image for example hover image let it be this one for example and selected image let it be this for example as you can see there is a lot of magic you can do with smart designer okay let's continue it's clear with the smart designer as you can see button here is changed that means that smart designer is attached here so we can add we can remove we can reorder what's more we can do it with the front builder i also front builder has its own settings this setting is related to this current short code only so let's review its options auto submit auto submit allows submit search form when user click on any filter element so let's click on it and as you can see filtering can start is starting immediately that's clear what about next auto hide let's enable it and you can see only one button and user should click on it to to see the filter of course it's not good to view good in the sidebar but you can apply filter for example in the another page you can start filtering here 
And if you want to be redirect, redirected to another page, you can create this page and pass link here. It's just an example. So I created this test page. Let's back to our home page. Okay, we're here. Let's disable out the heart here and let's place a redirect link here. Okay, we can close. So let's click. And as you can see, we were redirected to another page, which were uh, inserted in the redirect text area. Uh, in this page, there is another filter created by Front Builder with the name Hello2. So let's look on this code. As you can see, there is another name. What does it mean? We can assemble absolutely another filter. So, for example, we decided here remove everything except of um, colors, for example, and text and text filter. More. Let's hide it. So let's enable auto hide here. And your user will be redirected here. He will have to click on this button to see the filter. Of course, what about this button? It's only visible for you as for administrator. So let's go to another browser. And you will see there is no that button. That's only for administrator. Okay, let's disable this browser. Also, Ajax. Ajax, it's, that means that we can enable Ajax filtering for this current shortcode. Let's enable it. Uh, yes, disable auto submit. Let's click on the color, for example, this one. And as you can see, there is no products. So, what's going on? Is it Jax also should be enabled for the short code with products? So, let's write here is a Jax one update. Let's click on the green. And as you can see, it works now. Also, if you're using this mod for the shop products without short coding, uh, Ajax mod should be enabled in the global settings. So I mean products filter, and you should go here and try to Ajaxify the shop. Yes, and save changes. Just now, not let do this. Um, we reviewed redirect button position. Button position, that means, can you see this reset button? Top and bottom. So, TB means top and bottom. As button, as button, that means that search form will be shown as button. So, let's select it. And as you can see, there is uh, only simple button. And user should click on it to see filter form and he can start filtering. What about layout? Firstly, let's add more filter sections. So let's add also categories, let also season. And as you can see, there is one by one product color, product categories, product season. And uh, what about if you want to see three columns, product color, product categories and product season. Okay, let's go to the layout. Tap default filter section widths. So, this is filter section, for example, product season is a filter section, product categories, filter section, product color, filter section. So, let's set 33% for filter section. And as you can see, it's done. So, you with, in the layout tab, you can make filter more compact, filter section max height. So, for example, for product categories, let's go to product categories and select checkbox. And when it, there is a lot of checkboxes, as you can see, it's not good. So, let's go to the layout and set filter section max height, for example, 200 pixels. One moment is it redrawing and you will see just now that it's all okay. Okay, it's redrawn. Pro bar is here. And filter look it more pretty. Float when you can place the filter into the text, for example, any content. So you can assemble filter where displayed only colors. This article will be about anywhere, and you can place filter exactly in the text content, and you can see it set the float left or right. 
uh, radio and check boxes skin. Radio check boxes skin is related only for radio and check boxes. For example, just now it's blue, but we can select uh, any another. For example, square pink. Filter redrawing. Redrawn. Okay, it's redrawn. So just now, by the way, as you can see, you can move this pop up, else, or you can change its size for your convenience. And let's refresh the page. Last, each filter section has its own options. We can open options for the text filter. Let's do it. And, it, and you can see there is a lot of options. By the way, all, all the options are described here. So read and do what is described here. And also it has layout. What does it mean layout? In the global options for this short code, we can set in the layout file um, filter section width 33%, but we can overload for each element and set its own width. So it's clear with the text, but let's let's do the trick with the product color, product categories, and product season. Let's go to the product color layout. Let's set here fifty percent. Okay, fifty percent. Product categories. Let's set the same. Fifty percent. And as you can see, there is two blocks here. Just now, I think that's enough. As you can see, this shortcode has a lot of power. After installation of the plug, just enough one shortcode, Wolfram Builder and Name. And that's all. See you. Bye.